Hello guys, welcome to your 7th Python programming tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be going over the define function. Now what the define function will do is it will allow us to, basically it's going to make our coding a lot easier and a lot cleaner. Alright, so to get started we're just going to import system because we do want our program to close. Alright, so once we have that, we're going to print out, actually we're not going to print out anything. Now the define function, it begins with the uh, function def which is abbreviated for the word define and after you type in def you're gonna hit space and now whatever you type in here is what uh, your function is going to be named so if I'm going to name this start uh, you can name this pig you can name this applesauce it could be it's whatever you want alright so I'm just gonna name this start now add parameters and uh, colon all right, now inside of start, you can do anything. You can type in hello, hello world, print it's nice out. Oops, Ugh. oh my goodness, it's nice out, print you. Oops, I always forget to add that backslash, you are awesome. Oh my goodness, if I could type today. All right, so you can see if we run this, nothing's going to pop up. Now, that's because we've defined start, but we haven't told start yet to run. So to tell, you know, to call on to our definition start, uh, just type in the function name and then parameters. And you can see, hello world, it's nice out, you're awesome. All right, now with some more explanation, you can type in define uh, exit. All right, now what this is going to do, it's going to print out we are do you want to exit all right and then print y forward slash in standing for yes or no all right so now we're going to print out start and we're going to just print for space and then we're going to go down here because uh you cannot call upon a function if above the function itself because again python reads top to bottom so if I were to print out exit right there it would give me an error that exit does not exist or exit exit is not defined so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that exit and we're going to pop it down right under there all right and you can see hello world it's nice out you're awesome do you want to exit yes or no now we haven't made an input function yet or a raw input function so we can decide whether to quit and uh, so we're just gonna make another function called decide and that's going to be equal to raw input I would like to alright now we're just doing basic if statements uh, we can make another define statement and define it as uh, exit yn for exit yes or no I'm just trying to use as much defining as we can uh, so exit yn uh, if decide equal to y then print out now exiting system.exit alrighty else if decide is equal to no or in print out okay we won't we won't exit even better alright uh, now just an else statement uh, print sorry that wasn't a, oh my goodness that wasn't a choice alrighty so uh, now we're just gonna call upon our define statement and by doing exit y in and you can see hello it's nice out you are awesome do you want to exit I would like to yes alright and then now exiting and it closes off if we were to run that again but this time put in okay we want to exit uh, it's very basic very nice um, this will allow us so if we were to take this code bring it down actually not there bring it up here uh, bring it this up there alrighty uh, you can see uh, if anybody wants to look at your source this is awesome this is an awesome way for them to be able to read it better uh, it's also a nice way because you can have all your defined functions up here and then just have your whole code the rest of the code just like this 
Uh, if you have any questions, you can comment. Uh, you can see it still works. <coughs> if you have any questions, you can comment. Uh, make sure to like this video for more. Uh, and if we were to type that in you, sorry, that's not a choice. All right. So <laughs> subscribe, do all that stuff. I'll see you guys later.